everyone, it's Brittany here from Hot Messy Super Mom. In this video, I'll be talking about how to plan for your child's upcoming surgery. I'll break down the five easy steps you can take when planning your child's next surgical procedure. Hospital stays, no matter the length of time, can be unpleasant and nerve-wracking. You are already dealing with so much stress and worry surrounding your child's surgical procedure that the last thing you want to be thinking about is something you forgot to pack or plan for. Being prepared will help ease your mind and make your stay a little bit easier. Now let's get started! Step 1. Plan child care for your other children, whether it is at home or at the hospital. Your child that is having surgery will need your full attention both before and after surgery. I suggest having a relative or friend watch your other children at your home so you will have less distractions. Here's a helpful tip. Be prepared to wait several hours before surgery even starts. You and your child will be taken to two or three different waiting areas in different rooms before they take your child back for surgery. Step 2. Plan your arrival time. Know your exact location where the surgery will take place. If you have never been there before, be sure to know the best route to take and the time it will take to get there. Plan ahead for travel time and be sure to consider weather conditions, traffic, and parking. It is important to know exactly where to park the day of surgery and if there will be any construction going on in that area. Be sure to call the hospital in advance for this information. Plan for the time it will take to unload your car and walk to the registration desk. Be sure to give yourself enough time for this. Step 3. Packing your bag. Pack your bag a day or more in advance. Be sure to pack clothing items, hygiene products, and anything that will keep you busy while you wait, such as books, iPads, movies. Also, don't forget your chargers for your devices. Be sure to pack your child's vital information, including insurance card, medication list, test results, x-rays, letters from your doctor, or anything that your doctor's office told you to bring on the day of surgery. Be sure to pack these items where you can get to them quickly if needed. Here's a helpful tip. Eating at the hospital can get costly, so I recommend packing snacks or eating at the cafeteria as a way to save money. Step 4. Packing your child's bag. Pack your child's bag a day or more in advance. Be sure to pack their clothes, hygiene items, and a comfort item, such as a pacifier, blanket, favorite teddy bear, favorite book, Anything that will calm them, you want your child to feel as comfortable as possible. So bring anything that will remind them of home. Be sure to pack any medical supplies your child will need. This includes medication, feeding supplies, and any other medical devices your child will need. Be sure to pack extra in case the hospital doesn't have the formula your child needs or your stay turns into an overnight visit. The night before, be sure to follow any guidelines given to you by the doctor's office or hospital in regard to what your child could eat or drink prior to surgery. This includes medication as well. Here's a helpful tip. These comfort items will be needed when your child starts to wake up from anesthesia and you can go back there to be with them. Be prepared to see your child in pain and possibly crying or in discomfort. This can be very hard to watch and I hope your child gets through this phase very quickly. Depending on the type of surgery your child had, the pain level will vary. Be sure to talk with your child's doctor about pain management. Step five, expect the unexpected. It's always scary to think about your child's surgical procedure not going as planned and changing from an outpatient procedure to an overnight stay or an extended stay. But these things do happen, so it's always good to be prepared, both mentally and with the items you would need in case you had to stay longer. This is why it's important to pack for an emergency overnight bag with extra clothes, hygiene products, and anything else you would need, such as extra cash and change. Be sure to do this for both you and your child. Here's a helpful tip. Be prepared to sleep horribly. Hospital rooms are not made to sleep very well and usually only accommodate one parent. You may want to have one parent plan to stay with your child that had the surgery overnight and the other parent stay with the other children at home. Or the other parent can plan to stay with a relative or family member that lives close by or if all else fails, they can stay at a hotel room nearby. Be sure to check with your hospital about any programs they have in place that help parents with discounted rates for hotel rooms or comped hotel room stays. Also, be prepared to be woken up many times throughout the night by nurses as they come in to check your child's vitals. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information helpful. If you did, please be sure to let me know by liking this video, leaving me a comment, and sharing it with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website for Hot Mess of Super Mom. The link to the website will be posted in the description, so be sure to go check it out. See you guys later.